We're Romeo High School. This is the State Champs edition of State Champs. Let's go! Yeah! yeah! State Champs is presented by Lawrence Technological University. Possible is everything. Hungry Howie's, your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. Go to doughraiser.com for details. Van Andel Institute, get involved at purplecommunity.org. Our friends with the UAW and Chrysler. Warrior Sports, cross the line. And Pirani's Hockey World, 14 Michigan locations, Go to HockeyWorld.com for info. Thank you so much for tuning in to the original high school sports show, State Champs. Get ready because we have a fantastic half hour ahead. We're presented by Lawrence Technological University. I'm Lauren. She's Stephanie. Tell the people what we have in store for them this week. Where do I start? Well, the Hungry Howie's Mr. Football Final Four announcement is just minutes away. That is huge. Kiara Lancaster has a story on an All-American swimmer who has an incredible future ahead. She's right. We had state championships in swimming and volleyball yesterday. Those highlights are straight ahead. We've got water polo state finals too. Sean Belizean is back with our first crop of skaters and our Warrior Sports High School Hockey Player of the Year. But first, football state semifinals. Need I say more? It's a football fury. We begin in Brighton, a Division I state semifinal as the defending state champs Clarkston taking on the Falcons representing East Kentwood. Clarkston coming in on some kind of streak, 26 straight to be exact. Mr. Football candidate DJ Zazula connects with Jacob Fisher. That's a 40-yard touchdown. Wolves led 7 to nothing. More from the Clarkston offense in the first quarter as the junior Nolan Erickson punches it in from five yards out. They were up 21 to six at the break. Best season in 12 years for East Kentwood, but this was all Wolves. Final quarter, Erickson came in with over 1,200 yards on the ground. Tack on another 36 here. Clarkston up 22. Then Zazula dotting the I's and crossing the T's. Back-to-back -back trips to the state championship. Clarkston defeats East Kentwood 35 to 13. Who will they play next week? Stay tuned, those highlights coming up later in the show. We head to Dearborn now for Division Three. New Boston Huron has never been this far in the playoffs. Orchard Lake St. Mary's has, but it's been a couple of years since they graced the big stage at Ford Field. Two tough losses to the hands of Brother Rice this season. Otherwise, OLSM would be perfect. Dominated in the ground game in this one. Second quarter, Justin Myrick punching it in from a yard out. 14-3 Eaglets. Right before the break, the junior Brandon Tabone finds Pierce Bauer for the eight-yard score. Orchard Lake led by 18 at the half. More the same in the second stanza. Brandon Adams across the goal line. Orchard Lake St. Mary's rolls 51-3. They'll take on the Muskegon Big Reds for all the marbles. That should be epic. Let's go north, way north now to the UP, where we bring in Jerry Taylor. Thanks, Lauren. At the Superior Dome Friday night, Munising and Beale City battled for a spot to Ford Field. The Aggies and Mustangs were scoreless at the half, so let's jump ahead to the third quarter. On third and three from their own 38, Garrett Blank gets the toss. He has a couple of blockers. Blank finds a little daylight. He's off to the races. Blank cuts back inside, and he would go 62 yards to the score. Munising strikes first, leading 7-0. The ensuing kickoff, Chase Rollin makes the grab at the one-yard line. He starts to the far sideline, and look out, Rollins is a convoy of blockers. A couple of Mustangs could not get him down. Chase Rollins, 99 yards to the house. What an answer by the Aggies to tie the game at seven. To the fourth quarter, still even at seven. Munising decides to kick a field goal. Andy Cooper from 33 yards out. It's good. The Stangs take a 10-7 lead. Bill City would drive down to the Munising 16. Two minutes to go, fourth and seven. Tucker Gross airs it out. Brad Moore could not make the grab. Collins Immel breaks it up and Munising would hold on for the 10-7 win. Next up, here's Ryan Terpstra. 
Thanks, Jerry. We finish in Division 6. Grand Rapids North Point Christian meeting up with Monroe St. Mary Catholic Central. Second quarter, St. Mary already up 7 to nothing. Bryce Windham hands to Justin Carabino. He's heading for the corner and watch out! Just inside the pylon and the Kestrels are up by two scores. Third quarter, MSMCC going back to Carabino, squirting through traffic. How does he not get tackled? Down the sideline for the juniors' third touchdown on the day. Fourth quarter, St. Mary putting the finishing touches on this one. Senior running back John Laco gets the short score, and Monroe, St. Mary Catholic Central gets a trip to Ford Field with a 28-0 shutout win over North Point Christian. For the Football Fury, I'm Ryan Terpstra. Volleyball and swim state finals coverage coming up. More football too, but right now it is Final Four time. It's been another phenomenal season. This has not been an easy decision. One of these next four guys will be the Hungry Howies, Mr. Football for 2014. Tom Markowski, please start with our winner of the online vote. Quarterback DJ Zazul out of Clarkston. A phenomenal season for Clarkston. Undefeated, great dual threat quarterback, winning the state title last year. Really came out of nowhere for this award. Tyree Jackson, another player that was underrated, started the season. Uh, out of Muskegon Mona Shores, really making a strong playoff run, another dual threat quarterback. Then you go to running back Mike Weber out of Detroit Cast Tech, my number one player in the preseason, having a phenomenal playoff run, 400 yards, uh, just touchdown after touchdown in the playoffs. And of course, Alex Malzone, the quarterback out of Birmingham, Brother Rice, upset in the playoffs, but he had a phenomenal year as well. Absolutely. Now the voting's over. Congrats to DJ, Alex, Mike, and Tyree. You will learn who has won on December 7th. For you candidates who are not one of our four, you are still in elite company, considered one of the best football players in the state. Best of luck in your football future. Hey State Champs Nation, Stephanie here again, and this week we go in focus to meet one of the top swimmers in the state. Then we stay in the pool for some finals action in water polo and girls swimming state finals. State Champs will be right back. Interesting. Well, look, now that the Howie Roll is ready to go for lunch, we need to uh, assist our co-workers in making their way to Hungry Howie's. By stealing lunches. <gasps> stealing. I am inspiring. I'm motivating. Who's the dead man? Quick, eat this. How's that taste? Oh, horrible. Get a Howie Roll with a 20-ounce Pepsi for just five bucks. Or get a meal deal for any size budget. Now that's an idea. Hungry? Howie! Before the NBA draft, Andre Drummond was labeled a project. If you're not in school and labeled a project, don't give up. Get back in the game with the Back on Track program. This free program allows students to get valuable on-site vocational training, earn a diploma online with a flexible schedule, or take one class at a time until you graduate. We have year-round enrollment, so it's not too late. Don't let a label keep you down. Grab the rebound and score with the Back on Track program. Call 855-512-3212 or go to backontrack.education for more information. We want you. We are Lawrence Technological University, and we don't want just anyone. We want the brainiacs, visionaries, geniuses, and game changers. We want the students who will change the world through technology, science, business, and design. So if you're ready to explore your possibilities, we, we want you, NLTU. Lawrence Tech, possible is everything. Welcome back to State Champs, I'm Kiera Lancaster. This week we go in focus on an All-American swimmer who not only swam her way to the top of her league, but also the top of her class. Molly Pulte is a senior at Marion High School, and in four short years she has managed to beat five state records and most of her school records. Molly credits her success to her swim team, coach, and friendly competition amongst her older sisters. But Coach Bill Thompson knows it comes from within. A lot of talented kids out there, a lot of talented kids. She's taken her talent um, and works it, and that's why she is where she is now. And where she is now is pretty impressive. Molly not only holds seven All-American titles, but with a 3.9 GPA, one of her biggest accomplishments is receiving Scholastic Honors. Two years in a row, Scholastic All-American, so that's um, times and a grade point average. 
um, above 3'5". Molly is a mentor at her high school and also is a captain of her swim team, making her a role model and inspiration to many. I only do well when she's behind me, screaming at me. When we're in relays, Bill always puts her behind me to um, get in my face and tell me what I need to do. And she's sort of like the big sister I've never had. Although Molly's high school swimming career is almost over, a new chapter is just beginning. Next fall, Molly would join Florida University swim team in study business. Her advice to others looking to accomplish their goals is simple. Look at your goals and what are your goals and what you need to do to get there. In Focus is presented by the Van Andel Institute. Join the Purple Community today and learn how your school can fight cancer at purplecommunity.org. Back to the highlights. We call this the Blitz, the ultimate sports blitz. Let's begin the Blitz with last weekend's Boys Water Polo State Championships. An all-west side affair is Hudsonville faced off against 48-1 Rockford. First quarter action, Rockford in the black caps and on the attack. Sam Sykema drops it to Ben Hoffmeister for the finish. This game was tied at two at the end of one. Hudsonville hanging tough in the second half. Josh Benson fires a shot into the back of the net. He scored all three goals for the Eagles in this one, but it wouldn't be enough to stop Rockford. Brent Trewella finds Tyler Willison. He sneaks it inside the far post. Rockford wins their third state title in four years, 12-3 over Hudsonville. Let's stay in the pool, but now for the Division I Girls Swimming State Finals at Eastern Michigan. 200 free relay, a fight to the finish. Rockford's Aaron Hudson just sets an out Brighton's Taylor Seaman for the victory. Rams finish third. Farmington Hills Mercy going for back-to-back -back state crowns. Second in this event a year ago, the senior Roxanne Griffo anchoring the final leg of the 200 medley relay and the win. Marlins finish runner-up though. Celine looking for their third straight crown in the last six years. Final race of the afternoon, 400 free relay. The freshman Lizzie Spears cruising on in for the two second win. The Celine Hornets beat Mercy to win their first state championship since 2010. Let's go to Oakland U now, the division three swim finale. Title battle was between a pair of West Side schools, Grand Rapids CC and East Grand Rapids. 200 medley relay, junior anchor Liz Rabot, the anchor goal. But this afternoon belonged to the pioneers of East Grand Rapids. 200 freestyle, the top seed, junior Emily Converse, the victory. Later to the 100 free, and it's the sophomore favorite, Gabby Higgins, edging out her teammate, Lexa Van Hoven for the W. East Grand Rapids with a sweet repeat in Division Three. congratulations. Back to football, and oh man, did we not see this one coming. The Division I semifinal at Troy Athens, Celine, its first ever appearance in the Final Four, matched up against the fifth straight semifinalist, the Technicians from Detroit Cast Tech. Celine's only setback this season, an opening night loss to Muskegon Mona Shores. Trailing 7 0 late in the first half, Jeb Pelka, eight yard touchdown. They added a field goal and led 10 7 at halftime. Move ahead to the fourth now. Cast Tech trailing 17 7 now, but one play from getting back in it. But Steven Stollery picks off the Rodney Hall pass. This is going to be a pick six. Are you kidding me? 80 yards to the house. Hornets in control of 16. But this is Cast Tech, mind you. Hall dances and finds Demetric Vance from eight yards out. Technicians down 23 to 15. Celine lost a heartbreaker in 2012 to the technicians in the playoffs. Not this time. Kevin Gross pushes the pile and seals it. Hornets win their 12th straight, 30 to 15 the final. Celine will play Clarkston in the Division I football championship. Oh, what a blitz. I'm out. Coming up on State Champs, we head to the eight-man football state title game. That's bound to be action-packed. And then we bump over to some volleyball state finals from Battle Creek. Don't go anywhere. We want you. We are Lawrence Technological University. And we don't want just anyone. We want the brainiacs, visionaries, geniuses, and game changers. We want the students who will change the world through technology, science, business, and design. So if you're ready to explore your possibilities, we, we want you, NLTU. Lawrence Tech, possible is everything. 
My purple is defeating cancer. My purple is my grandma. Everyone has a reason for joining Purple Community. My purple is fighting Parkinson's. My purple is my mother. Because that's where the fight to end cancer, Parkinson's, and other diseases begins. When you participate in a Purple Community event, 100% of your donation goes directly to research at Van Andel Institute. Get involved. Join us at purplecommunity.org. Welcome to Pirani's Hockey World, the toy store for hockey players. They have been outfitting beginners, professionals, and teams since 1976. Pirani's has an experienced, knowledgeable staff. The largest selection is simply the best prices. In fact, Pirani's has the best price guarantee. Now, if you can find a better price, they will beat it by 5%. Come to one of their 22 locations or log on to hockeyworld.com for amazing savings and to join the Pirani's e-club for special offers all year long. It's always hockey season at Piranis. Welcome back to State Champs. I'm David Faze. We're going to deviate a little this week and take a step back from all of Lawrence Tech's tremendous camps to spotlight one of their equally innovative academic endeavors. And you'd be hard pressed to find anything more innovative than the creations you'll discover inside LTU's digital fabrication studio, or as it's more affectionately referred to, the Make Lab. This terrific facility provides students unique opportunities that aren't only educational, but also allow for real-world applications. And architecture professor James Stevens says the experiences gained by working those types of projects are much more valuable than just a grade. We've done several projects here on campus where we have, for instance, retrofitted a uh, ceiling in one of our buildings that was having a issue with too much sun. Uh, they were wanting to darken the room. Uh, we've also uh, worked on our own facility with certain storefront areas, but more importantly, the students are beginning to do projects for uh, outside clients. To learn more about all of Lawrence Tech's many innovative degree programs, log on to ltu.edu. For State Champs, I'm David Faze. We're Lawrence High School, and up next is Drive for the Title. <laughs> Thanks guys, we will start with your game, the eight man football state final between Cedarville and Lawrence. Second quarter, Cedarville on the three yard line and big Blake Melvin plows his way into the end zone. Cedarville trailed 12 to six. Ensuing possession for Lawrence, Derek Gribbler scrambling Fires a pass right on the money to Matt Kimmier for the 20 yard score and the Tigers were up by 30 at halftime. Third quarter, the Lawrence offense still humming. Hunter Coombs on the right side, picks up a big block. He's down the sideline and he is gone. 49 yard touchdown, Lawrence with an impressive offensive display as they win this one 56 to 12 over Cedarville and they claim their school's first ever eight-man football state championship. We go to volleyball in the Class D title game. Over 1,700 victories between these two coaches, Leland's Lori Glass and Battle Creek St. Phillips' Vicki Grope. Second set, Leland serving. St. Phil sets up junior hitter Abby McKenzie for the smash. Tigers up two to zip, and they are looking to close it out. But Leland would not give up. Battling back in the third set, they find junior Eva Grobel. She was hit in the face earlier. She does the hitting on this play. Comets forcing a fourth set. Now to match point, McKenzie with the dig. Back to her for the kill. And Battle Creek St. Philip are your Class D champs for the ninth straight year. They've won 10 of the last 11 state titles. We move to Class C, Schoolcraft facing off against Monroe St. Mary Catholic Central. First set, Schoolcraft serving, St. Mary trying to set up the kill, but Sarah Wisser is there to turn them away, and the Eagles claim the first set. We move to set three with things tied up at one apiece. The Kestrels on the return. Sydney McGinn lays up the assist for Cassandra Haught. She had 23 kills to lead her team. 
So now to match point. MSMCC one away. Schoolcraft's JC Suslin is blocked by Skyler Ayad and Monroe St. Mary captures the Class C State Championship. That's it for Drive for the Title. I'm Ryan Terpstra. Hey football fans, here's a chance for you and your friends to play in a flag football tournament at Ford Field. Think you can beat this state champs team? It's all for an incredible cause. Pay attention, here's the details. The Crohn's and Colitis Foundation of America is hosting a touch of football event on December 10th at Ford Field. And State Champs is encouraging you to join us in helping the CCFA tackle Crohn's and colitis. It's seven on seven flag football co-ed teams. You must always have a girl on the field at all times. You can have up to 15 players on there. We have referees that are gonna come out. We're gonna hand out trophies for the first and second place. We're gonna have a trophy for the most money donated. You get to play football on Ford Field, which is gonna be really fun. Um, but it's also a great way to raise funds and awareness for Crohn's and colitis. This flag football tournament is for all all ages and you are guaranteed at least two games. The cost is $2,500 per team of up to 15 players. Don't have a team? Sign up as a free agent for just 150 bucks. Sign up today. Join us in helping the CCFA tackle Crohn's and colitis in a once in a lifetime experience at Ford Field. Log on to online.ccfa.org slash flag football Michigan or contact Melissa Greer at mgreer at ccfa.org. See you at Ford Field December 10th. Hey football fans, it's getting down to the wire and coming up next is our main event, the Division II semifinal between Muskegon Mona Shores and Farmington Hills Harrison. Volleyball fans, we've got you covered too. Head to statechampsnetwork.com for the Class A state finals. Stick with us. I got popcorn. I love movie trailers. Me too. This winter, if you're going to die, Die nasty. Fear the power of the warrior dynasty. Holy sh Fundraising should be fresh, flavorful, and simple. We have the perfect solution at Hungry Howie's Dough Razor. Your nonprofit organization can sell paper pizza certificates that your customers can redeem for one medium pizza at participating Hungry Howie's locations. Go to doughraiser.com to learn about, sign up for, and order everything Dough Razor. Request a Dough Razor kit for your group today. Your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. Welcome to Hungry Howie's Dough Razor. We're the Cronin Law Firm bringing more to the table. Down together, we share our expertise. You've got a legal problem, we know you need relief. Advice that you can trust, that's why people come to us. We're the Cronin Law Firm, bringing more to the table. And welcome back to State Champs. I'm Sean Belegian, and hey, we are pleased and privileged once again to bring to you, four years running, the High School Hockey Player of the Year. Thanks to our friends at Warrior, and of course, at Piranis. That's right, we're out here at Piranis Livonia. Lots of great things going on, but before we get to all that, here is our inaugural list for the 2014-2015 season. Now, as you can see, a lot of familiar names on there, some new names as well. As I mentioned, love to have the help of our friends at Warrior and kind enough to join us right now is Steve Rimshaw from Warrior and Steve Warrior's doing it again you are holding uh, the latest innovation in sticks this is called the Covert QR1 tell us about the QR1 first of all this is the lightest most durable balanced stick that we've ever made on, on the market um, first off the the, uh, the nice pro look that we have in the front face of the stick so as a player looks down he's not going to get um, confused on what he's looking at. The second thing that I like to bring up is the balance point. We've been enhanced this balance point up for better stick handling and uh, being able to uh, shoot the puck that much harder. Third thing I like to bring up is the blade. We've double reinforced this blade for durability. As we all know, hockey can be an expensive sport for not only players but for parents. So we want to make sure we're given that durable blade for breakage. 
Last thing I'd like to bring up is the super low kick point that we have. This is, and it enhances the player to be able to shoot the puck 0.76 milliseconds faster, so goalies look out. It, and I'll tell you what, guys, a feather weighs heavier than this stick, trust me. Uh, hey, we really appreciate you guys being involved. Uh, thanks for all you do for hockey, Steve. Thank you very much, and we're very happy to be a part of this again. All right, now it's up to you. Head to the site, start voting, and we always appreciate you checking us out here as we do four years running the High School Hockey Player of the Year, presented by Warrior. Thank you, Sean. All right, got a candidate we should consider? Go to the Connect page on statechampsnetwork.com and let us know about him. Time for our main event this week with the Brother Ice loss a week ago. All of a sudden, Division Two is really wide open. Two teams hoping they would be playing for the crown at Ford Field next week. Muskegon, Mona Shores, and Farmington Hills, Harrison. Farmington Hills Harrison looking to make the state finals for a record 17th time. And QB Javon Shaw back from tearing his ACL making an impact. He completes to Awari Smith, slips a tackle and see ya! Big 83 yard touch. The Hawks led 10 to nothing. Two years ago, the first time ever Mona Shores had made the playoffs. This is Deontay Moffitt, Sailors trail 17 to nine at intermission. But Shores, Mr. Football Candidate, and 3,000-yard all-purpose dual-threat QB Tyree Jackson went down with an injured knee. The backup, Tyler Trovinger, into the end zone. We were tied at 17 into the fourth. Hawks now led 24 to 17. Later, Mona Shores now down to its third string QB, Elijah Wilson. But he hooks up with Kobe Burst and Kobe making a play. 76 yards to Pater. The conversion was good as well. Sailors beat Harrison 25 to 24. They'll meet Warren De La Salle in the Division II State Final on Friday afternoon. Can't wait. That's our show this week. Doesn't get any bigger than next week where we will be at Ford Field for the Football State Final. We're also going to get you caught up on some of our Mr. Football winners from the past. What happened to them after high school? It might surprise you. It really will. Go to statechampsnetwork.com for everything State Champs, of course. Continue to follow us on social media. Nobody breaks news like we do. I promise we'll keep you in the loop, and we'll see you next Sunday. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. State Champs is presented by Lawrence Technological University. Possible is everything. Hungry Howie's, your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. Go to doughraiser.com for details. Van Andel Institute, get involved at purplecommunity.org. Our friends with the UAW and Chrysler, Warrior Sports, Cross the Line, and Pirani's Hockey World. 14 Michigan locations, go to hockeyworld.com for info.